Bonjour à tous. So 90% of you have never heard about me before. I'm not a millionaire. I'm not a CEO of a big corporation. So basically, I have no credibility on a business standpoint. But today, I had a considerable desire to share one message with you. That's why I'm going to speak with my guts. SX motto is enlighten, lead, change. So today, my speech will only try to enlighten yourself because I believe that you're all brilliant enough, class of 2022, to conduct a change by yourself. And if I had only one message to share with you today, it would be have the courage to do what you believe is important. In 2005, at Stanford University Commencement Day, Steve Jobs said, your work is going to fill a large part of your life. And the only way to be truly satisfied is to, is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do, end of quote. But the problem is that we don't have the courage anymore. We don't believe it anymore. We lost faith. And in fact, the successive crises, whether they are economic, environmental, or sanitary, made us doubtful, uncertain, and short-termist. We lost our ambition. And yet, those who are burning the Amazonian forest, they believe it. Those who are responsible for the rise of fascism in the world, they believe it. And Vladimir Putin, he believes it, that he can invade Ukraine. So these guys believe it. They are absolutely convinced in what they are doing. So if we don't believe that we can have an impact, that we can change the world, we won't be able to fight against these personalities and behaviors. So I would like to tell you a little story to illustrate what I'm saying. So as it was uh, already mentioned, my passion is sports. And I believe that sport has the potential to make the world a better place. From judo to triathlon, I have been a high-level athlete for more than a decade. Sports supported me during a very tough childhood when I had to see my father in jail. Sport helped me to fight some social inequalities when we were red flagged by French bank without credit card and checks. But sports also gave me the opportunity to dream and, to, and sometimes to see these dreams coming true while winning national and international titles. So I understood that sports was much more than just putting my running shoes on a Sunday morning for a little run. In fact, I believe that sport can have a much bigger and broader impact and make the world a better place. And I would like just to give you a few examples. The first one is obviously on a, a physical and mental health, health. Sorry. Yes, today it is well demonstrated that a regular physical activity can reduce the probability of developing a chronic disease or mental illness. The second example is on inequalities. In fact, I call sport as a chance equalizer because when you are on a starting block, it doesn't matter how rich your family is or how many people you know in the business. Last but not least, on a social cohesion standpoint, do you know another event like the Olympic Games that has the power to unify one nation to support the country? That's the power of sport. And in fact, here at ESSEC, we know it very well. We have some graduates who promote these values. For instance, Tony Estanguet, ESSEC graduate and the current president of the 2024 Paris Olympic Games. Another example. Amélie oudéa castera ESSEC graduate, the current French sports minister. So these people inspire me. So even if today I haven't found a position in one of the main sports corporation organization or federation, I'll keep fighting. That's the power of an ambition. That's the power of a dream. That's the power of a passion. So as I said, I believe that my passion have the potential to make the world a better place. And you, class of 2022, what is your passion that can change the world? Think about the last companies you talked to. Think about the last application that you sent. 
Do they match your personal values? Do they match your ambition? Make sure, make sure you answer this question tomorrow, and the world will be much better the day after tomorrow. Merci.